Welcome, welcome. My name is Casey Wilson, and this is Bitch Sesh, a Real Housewives breakdown show. I'd like to introduce you to my co-host. Hi, I'm Danielle Schneider. I'm so excited to do this. This is a dream. This is your dream and my dream together realized. We're getting paid. No, we're not. No, we're not. This is all, all from our heart. We are getting paid with listeners, you people. <laughs> Danielle and I have been housewives fanatics, mm-hmm. I think it's fair to say. Since day one. Since the ladies of Orange County were not really wearing a lot of makeup on the show. I, I watched, I remember Gina Kehoe has been a favorite of mine, mm-hmm. and we'll discuss her. For I mean, the housewives to me, I don't know, I just love it. They're my friends, yeah, and I like to watch them every week and every incarnation. And You even created a Hulu show yes, about I, it. I created the Hot Wives of Orlando and the Hot Wives of Las Vegas. I co-created it, and you were a muse and starred in it. Well, so. <laughs> well we're so excited to be doing this. If you're listening, God bless you. Thank you. You're obviously you. a sexy, gorgeous gay man. No. <laughs> uh, and a smart woman with a cocktail in her hand. <laughs> you had a lot of sass for days. Yes, you have a lot of funny smart comments and you not afraid to use them guys first i guess we want to just do a quick toast yes because this is our first episode it's Mm -hmm. our you know i did never wanted to do a podcast because i felt like do we need to hear from everyone yeah i cannot stand the sound of my own voice here we are (laughs) here we are sitting in my breakfast nook yeah Lovely. And we're about to toast with two gorgeous, gorgeous wines. Yeah, full-bodied, if you will. And this will be a bit of a taste test. The first is called Unfiltered Blonde. I believe that's Brandy Glanville's yeah. offering. Yeah, former Real Housewife of Beverly Hills, who I think makes a few appearances this as year a as a friend. Well. Yes. She's kind of popping in and out. Yeah. Turned, though she is. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have Lisa Vanderpump's Red Sangria, made with Pandy. Yes, I think I believe Pandy runs the operation. Is no Max. Where's Max? I, where's Max? <laughs> Max has disappeared. Her poor Max. Her, her son Max has disappeared. Remember when they were giving out samples? Was that at Whole Foods or a Costco? It could have I been say, either. <laughs> I would say you're looking upscale if it's Whole Foods. That was not a Whole Foods. <laughs> yeah, that was okay. a. You're right. That was a Costco at best. Shall we try brandies? We're mm-hmm. just going to take a little sip. Cheers. Cheers. A toast. A toast. All a toast to do everyone. Taste test. Mm, good. Wow. Ooh, sweet. It's sweet. It's like Real. cough syrup. It's it's like if Dayquil, if I cracked open the capsule mm. and poured it. It's got um like an essence, not a like a candy essence. <laughs> yes, it's got like a, a hint of like a can. Yeah. You know, yeah. like if you if you ate a can. Yes. I a syrupy agree. can. Yeah, and it has like a, t- a real tannin. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you. It's a real burn. Jill feeling A it. real burn. It I'm flushed. Like, you know when you do a ton of cardio <laughs> and you feel like your heart's going to explode out of your chest? That's unfiltered blood. Yes. Unfiltered, undrinkable blonde. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next All right. is Pandy's Red Sangri. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's try this. Mm. Wow. Also sweet, but better. Not, but not doesn't have the burn afterwards. I should note that we are drinking these out of red solo shot glasses that no. someone gave me. Casey, solo cup. You didn't want to waste a, a glass <laughs> on not this. Not waste a I glass. Think. And I want everyone to know I did we had Ramona Pino Grigio and mm-hmm. I believe I served it for Thanksgiving accidentally. And I was at your Thanksgiving dinner and I'm I think I loved it. So I mean <laughs> so it's just, a shock. And I'm not a you know high end like wine lover, no. but I just I'll do a Kendall Jackson any day of the week. <laughs> Kendall Jackson and shard but not a high end <laughs> guys that was our taste test now we just want to quickly 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 just catch up from where we've left off with Orange County which was the last kind mm-hmm. of city even though this podcast which is limited will be focused on Beverly Hills mm-hmm. but we can't ignore what's come before <laughs> which is we refuse to ignore the <laughs> they, past I, they will not be ignored <laughs> no they won't because I'm yeah, because thinking we about love them, them all the time yes because they are our friends and we need to talk about them behind their backs Brooks. <sighs> For those of you who aren't uh, Housewives of Orange County fans, I can't imagine you're not, but Brooks is one of the Housewives. Brooks Ayers. Is, is Vicki Gumbelson's boyfriend, controversial boyfriend. And now Vicky's saying, I love that she's saying now she wishes she was still with Don. It's like, God, Vicky, we can't go back to that beach no. and re-say those vows. No. I mean. They had a vow renewal ceremony and then like two months later were divorced and then she went into Brooks Ayers land who is a southern gentleman in quotations because he talks like he's like in a Tennessee Williams play. <laughs> but here's the weird thing I do want to say. I've uh-huh. always wanted to say, scream this from the rooftops. Does everybody remember Vicky's white party when uh, Brianna's 
boyfriend who I find to be a monster. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's a military husband, man. But, uh, I don't care. Yeah, and monster. I appreciate his service for our country, but I don't appreciate his service on my television. No. <laughs> because Ryan, Ryan. Ryan. Ryan is his name. I think Ryan is vile. Yes. He's nasty. I know. I, said we I think he's got anger mean. issues. Yes. He's got anger issues. I forget what happened. He yelled at someone because they put their feet up, I believe, or they got it. The couch dirty at the white party. It, it had such a tinge of like anger and rage that I'm like, and we're all pointing finger at Brooks for well, making Brianna look at his dick? Well, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was bad. I'm sorry. I disagree with okay, that. Well, you know, I'm a new mom and I just think some, we all do what we do. <laughs> she said to his girlfriend's daughter, he called his dick what was the name of her? It? Girth Brooks. Girth Brooks, <laughs> which is insulting on so many levels. A, the fact that Girth Garth Brooks is no longer popular. No one remembers that. So that's so you're insulted by just the bad like, reference. Yeah, it's a bad reference. And also, I don't want to think of what I just picture his dick in a cowboy hat. Now, <laughs> you and I have had a bit of a disagreement, as mm-hmm. we have had with uh, a guest coming up in two weeks, mm-hmm. our, our dear friend June Diane yes. Raphael, mm-hmm. of How Did This Get Made fame. She's a Vicky, like, diehard. Mm-hmm. She, Vicky is her profile picture yeah yeah she's the number one Vicky, Vicky fan Vicky and Brooks have reached out to her multiple times and asked her to take it down <laughs> aside from that <laughs> she's she has remained, resisted she she's has resisted. resisted she has stood her ground I'm proud of her and I'm sure she'll be buying Vicky's new perfume simply titled <laughs> Vicky Gumbelson <laughs> name for a perfume. <laughs> I just spray on some Vicky Gumbles. I know. It's a, a real Scandinavian name. But anyway, so uh, so anyway, but Brooks has claimed to have cancer throughout the season, and then it has come out recently that he doesn't. And the last part of that story is that I believe, and I know this is sad to say, mm-hmm. but everyone's like, Vicky, leave Brooks. Vicky, don't you know that Brooks uh, you know, doesn't mm-hmm. have cancer? And to them, I say, guys, Vicky can't do better than Brooks. I think that's a tough statement. I think it's better to be alone than to be with someone who shows his dick to your daughter and and pretends he has cancer. Guys, <laughs> agree to disagree. <laughs> okay, moving on. Breaking news. <sighs> breaking Guys, news. On the day of our first podcast, breaking news. It was as though Bravo, Bravo King Andy Cohen brought this down from on high. Yeah, it was mana from heaven. <laughs> Divorce. It's in the headlines, one David Foster and Yolanda Foster, or separation. Yeah, a separation. They didn't use the word divorce. They said, we tried our best, but we, can no, <laughs> <laughs> but we can no longer. I Honestly, I don't know who's going to get custody of that ref, that beautiful refrigerator. And what about the five tenors? <laughs> the Canadian tenors? Do, and, what, how do you put they? up five tenors? One gets three, someone gets two? I think David's getting to know those tenors. Yeah, well, that's... That's another controversial statement. Here's the thing. I called it, and I have to say that because I was doing some Instagram digging Uh on my own. This was over Thanksgiving weekend. I'm tucked in my bed, and as you will, I'm (laughs) going through the Instagram of Sarah and Aaron Foster, David's daughters. And I know she mentioned she has a a very young son. Six months, and he needs me. (laughs) But she is Instagramming. So I'm scrolling through two girls I don't know, you know, daughters. Like, they're like part of like the Brandon Jenner clan. Yeah, there's that that's a clan that keeps going i don't know how many kids are in that yes clan. and i notice with i spy with my little eyes <laughs> david foster at thanksgiving with them no yolanda now of course of my first thought lime that's why yeah, she's not there uh-huh. then i go on she is celebrating thanksgiving with bella Gigi, and anwar <laughs> who has yet to be seen. I have no idea what Anwar looks like. Traces of Rob Kardashian <laughs> in Anwar. But all I can say is I said they are separated because they weren't spending Thanksgiving together. And I pointed it out to my friend Jane. She says, no way. You know, Yolanda's and then, king. And then a weekend later, not even three days later. And it doesn't give me any pleasure to be right. You seem to be smiling. I am. <laughs> There's a big smile across no, your I'm face. No, I'm sad. No, those, you heard this. Those are smiles. It's not a tear. Not a tear in her eye. Oh, God, it's horrible. <laughs> Let's move on to our guest mm-hmm. and then really unpack the first episode, yes, the premiere. That's why yes. we're here. Yes. Nothing happened. Not but to talk so about Vicky Gumbleson perfume yeah. and, and Don's Gar- Girth Brooks <laughs> or not Don <laughs> Brooks Girth Brooks. But let's let's our correspondent. Let's our introduce correspondent him. from the field. He joins us live in the studio <laughs> in the nook <laughs> in the breakfast nook. <laughs> This man was a writer on a short-lived program I performed on that Danielle was also a also writer, writer on, co-writer. Marry Me. Mm-hmm. He's now writing on a show called Bajillion Dollar Properties. Which will be on CISO in a few months. A spoof show on the kind of house hunter type shows. It's going to be amazing. And um, Million Dollar Listings, mm-hmm. another show for another time mm-hmm. we'll discuss. Oh, yeah. And 
soon to be a writer on Kyle by Aileen Two's new Warner Brothers <laughs> scripted. <laughs> if Kyle has anything to say about it, that, that show TV will get made. That TV land show comes anywhere near <laughs> that the, TV the land you pilot. I my hands <laughs> you are gonna... That TV land <laughs> online pilot. Please welcome Matt McConkey. Yes. Oh my Lisa. Oh God. <laughs> Is that your God? Is that what you say, course, my Lisa? Yeah. <laughs> God is too heteronormative, and so we say Lisa, oh. as in Rena. Yes, of course. Yeah. Matt, can you tell us about your love and why you you say that Beverly Hills is your flagship series? Flagship series in that I feel so right at home when I'm watching it. Beverly Hills and New York are the only ones I watch, and I know that's controversial, mm-hmm. but I still mm-hmm. consider myself a super fan. Mm-hmm. I think it's just that those are the only... Ladies, I can relate to. Those are the only. Like, Why do you relate to them? <laughs> Why I feel they? like those Why are the are two cities where I would live. So those are the people I would hang out with. Matt is a Carol devotee. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my f- housewives fantasy team. I mean, we all have one. Of course, um, is Carol Radzwell and Lisa Renna who are tied for number one with Countess Luann. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, probably Lisa Vanderpump. Probably Candy, and then. Maybe like a cameo from the the lesbian from Jersey. What is her name? Oh, oh she... Ro- Rosie. 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 <laughs> is her name really Rosie? Yeah, yeah. Rosie. Oh, wow. yeah, Rosie yeah. Was there too. Yeah, I that's love my yeah. So she team. is she and she put on some makeup this season, but that's another thing. That's for wow. another time. We'll unpack that Shocking. later. She doesn't have a spinoff yet. Speaking yeah, she's there's of the makeup. Yeah. <sighs> that was a big topic this week. Is Yolanda not wearing makeup seemed to like yeah. dominate the episode, the latter half of the episode, which was sad because I felt like, and I do have to say, what kind of people accuse anyone of not having an illness that they have? That's insane. And she is definitely sick. She is. It's not a Brooks thing here. I mean, there's medicines, and and she feels terrible and looks terrible, and and there is. Medical evidence. I don't understand. What I that just even thought came it was from. disgusting when Lisa said she could have taken ten minutes. I, we we had an audible gasp. <laughs> yes, we all <laughs> gasp. And Not then there me. was a dissenting <laughs> voice. And then there was a dissenting voice. Honestly, I had tears in my eyes. And I turned to a dear friend of over ten plus years, and he says, "I said Lisa's right. I said Vanderpump is right because." The way that that Yolanda showed up for that dinner was aggressive. It was a it was a pointed move to show up. It was it was like such hardcore martyrdom. And I do believe that she's sick, and I and my heart goes out to her, and I wish her the best. Sounds I like hope that she becomes yeah, you, a correspondent on this show. <laughs> I would like it, but only if she puts on makeup. Is that yeah, what you're this saying? Is a podcast. Does she have to wear something. makeup for you I mean, in a podcast? I did. I you mean, have, we all did. Come I mean, on, you do look no, amazing. Thank you. Um, I just think it was such a. It's like yeah, as you said, she she looks great in the Talking Heads. Like she managed to pull it together for that. But it was she really wanted to to that storyline to come across in that scene. But I also felt like harsh. Yeah, that those are some harsh words. I do feel like it's sometimes it's tough to get uh, some lipstick on your face. I am guilty of that, and I am in full health. I thought it was revolutionary for her to show up, and then for Ken to say, "I told you she looked good, but she looked terrible." Uh, He's like, he's like, believe me. She, what, no, I, I even yeah, have this quote. I wrote it down, down because he said, yeah. he said, and I quote, I told her she looked better, but I promise you, she did not look better. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Ken. It's like Ken. Like accusatory. And like, I lied to her because... I had to lie to her. Like, it was... It was very it was, strange. It was strange. And this is from a man who looks like a Muppet. Yeah. So I kind of felt like, who are you to say anything? And she's sick, and he's... Speaking of Ken, mm-hmm. I love in the previews for the, like, coming up season, mm-hmm. someone throws Ken into a pool, but it's a Baja shelf. So he basically <laughs> just, like, bounces off rock. It looks very dangerous, Yeah, I know. He's he is 90 if man. he's a day. Yeah. And I'm like, he's going to break everything. Just, you know? like, skipping across the water on his back. I would like to talk about Eileen mm. this season. We didn't see a lot of her because her, her we, father-in-law passed, which was very sad. Dick Van Patten yeah, did right, see yeah. her on a stationary bike in 80s workout gear <laughs> and a terrible silk blouse in her testimonial. And she, I have to say, she's never looked better. I will say Eileen looks better this Beautiful. season. But like she, she's not a bra, not a good bra <laughs> in sight. And, and she that was like she was discussing bras in one scene, but it begged my question. Where is your bra though? In the <laughs> opening. Yes. I think you pointed out. So we didn't we didn't get to see a lot of her, but I think she's really gonna come into play this season. I find Eileen boring as could be. Mm-hmm. I just she's feel like she doesn't the have the goods. Of Beverly Hills. 
I'm oh, wow. Yeah. She doesn't okay. have what? Say She's that again. She's the Kristen Takeman of Beverly Guys, oh. Kristen Takeman. From New York. Me. From New York. Yeah. Insane. Have you followed her Instagram? C- couldn't. Can't. Guys. Can't. It's, I can't. Can't. Is it the nails? Is it her nail line? And she always does a lot of that, like, street wear. It's like she has hired a photographer to follow her around and take pictures it's from the, the street. It's the saddest. Honestly, it's devastating. What's going on? <laughs> She's <laughs> taking things, and it's like what I wore last night, and it's like a paltry amount of followers, and it, oh, the clothes God. themselves are tragic. Oh, right. It's out of the guise of like, since you all wanted to know, it's like, no, 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 no one wanted to know. No, sweetie. Nobody wanted to know. You know, no. no, 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 but I feel like Eileen, I'm surprised they kept her around this season, but Shocked. that's why I feel like that there's more in store and in the preview for like what's coming up again, this episode, nothing really happened this episode, no. nothing controversial, snoozer. nothing at all. It was a snoozer of a season opening. I have to say there was yeah. not much except for the makeup controversy. And I think Kyle, if I can, you know, I, my dentist's office is right next door to Kyle by Eileen too. <laughs> T-O-O. You, why can't you just say Kyle's store. You really have to spell Kyle it Kyle by Eileen too, because I have spent so much time in my brain unpacking. What the hell is that name? <laughs> Even as I you say know. it now, I'm still, <laughs> I know I'm putting the emphasis on wrong words because it's like I'm saying like book bay and bay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't understand. Who is Eileen too? Do Eileen, we have our, our Eileen finger on or that? might be Aileen is A-L-E-N-E <laughs> and I would really welcome and I've had people on Twitter try to explain it to me and I still am coming <laughs> up empty. Number two? T-O-O there's another oh. Eileen. Oh, I, by Eileen also? By Eileen Whoa. also! What? That's a that's a shocker moment. That's a real Oprah so. aha moment it's for me. I didn't serious. realize that. I thought it was something like Eileen too was the last it's name. It's like Kyle by Eileen too. As like, well. Yeah. And I've never seen anyone in the store. And I want to say Kyle to me is all like beach cover-ups and mm-hmm. chains. Yeah. So and she's a dusty li- Springfield hairdo and a testimonial. <laughs> she is. And I and I think you curls. Put, oh no. It looks like she just put like a when, remember those old like caboodles what were those called like those like twisty twirly curls <laughs> I, I used as like a 13 year old it looks like she put yeah she has a little toddler she had a little toddler in tr hair when she got in the limo with lisa oh sure you pointed this out as we were watching how her and lisa always kind of get together at the beginning of every season and we hope it's going to be good between them they sort of like are like we get together and you have also pointed out how they it seems as if they have not seen each other since the finale <laughs> i don't think any of these people have seen each other since the finale like i think when andy <laughs> says like that's a wrap they like drop up their sound pack and run. <laughs> I just would like to say Matt has poured himself more unfiltered blonde. Class number three really? of unfiltered still, my blonde. My throat is still burning from it. You know, I made a note here because I was, as you were trying to figure out what it tasted like, I figured out that it tastes like um, cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Yeah, yeah. That really? T- that, thi- that, that does thing not going surprise to, me. And I don't think it's a coincidence that that's what she chose. You think that she chose, she's like, I want hints of cocaine yeah, she was and like, grass. <laughs> yeah, I want it to encapsulate and, me. Yeah, that's me. that is. Yeah. It's brandy to it. Guys, there's new housewives coming on, and we yes. only saw a glimpse in the opening, but I think it's important to read a tagline from Erica. Oh, yes. I'm, And this is much like Kyle by Eileen, too. I'm an enigma wrapped in a riddle and cash. <laughs> So no, what I want to know is, is she wrapped in cash or is it a new sentence? I'm an enigma wrapped in a riddle, period, and cash. Well, she took a pause that was so lengthy before she <laughs> says in cash. And I don't know if that's like a timing thing. I don't know. They are they writing that. these themselves? No way. They could not I think be. they are. I th- there's someone doctoring. There's a script doctor. with. She's like, I feel like I'm a mystery and I love cash. And they were like, here's what we should say. I feel like there's okay. somebody helping them. See, I that. heard through the grapevine that Carol gets writers for her testimonials. That, that would not surprise me. Her always are Because little... sometimes she's coming up with like a quip that feels a little more pulled together. Yeah. Another job I'd love. <laughs> Another <laughs> dream job. Putting your hat in the ring. Yeah. You would be. That would be. <laughs> that oh, would God. be. That would, I, would, I would end it all after that job. <laughs> you have no, no further desires. Yeah. That no. would be your heaven. That would be. But that and, you know, a Cabo trip with Jennifer Aniston. And then I'm, and then <laughs> and, I'm dead. I'm oh God. done. Matt has been obsessed with Jennifer Aniston in a way that is disturbing. Oh, that's my podcast. That's got to be. I know. Last year, I dared to say that I didn't think she would get a nomination for powder. And we didn't speak. Cake. For cake. cake. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Grandma, <laughs> we did send that. I, you were right, but it cut me to the quick. I mean, it was excruciating. That hurt. No. In this episode, Elise, mm-hmm. uh, Lisa threw out a first pitch from, and she worked Lisa on it with Vanderpump. Vanderpump, excuse me, with AJ Ellis, who she was vi- all so horny for. Her. <laughs> she was like, "He is handsome." I thought he was middling at best. <laughs> he was the B minus. 
Yeah, he was not. Now so Duke and Vinny. Ooh, Ooh. Is that their names? Aileen, Aileen's uh, Aileen. <laughs> Aileen Chu's children. <laughs> Duke and Vinny. Duke and Vinny. And her husband has that kind of out of work, rugged. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like he's a tennis pro. As she says with a question mark. <laughs> slash, <laughs> slash orchestrator of gambling nights. Yes. <laughs> Something's gonna go on down with them with the with the stepsons. Mm. No, I think with her Eileen and her husband. Oh, you think? I don't know. I have a premonition. Wow. Maybe I saw it on a preview. <laughs> it's not a premonition so much as a, a coming up, <laughs> coming up next. Um, I would also um, like to talk about Kyle and and her sort of like bringing up Kim. I missed Kim. I will say that that was oh. missing this this season. This is the first season where she hasn't really been a part of it. And she's she is like sort of a ghost that haunts it in terms of like She was a ghost that haunted presences. it when she was yeah. there. She's a, a demon like a I mean the most terrifying housewife of all time. Yeah. I, 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 no, I met her that? once in person oh. and she was lovely at the dry bar. Oh, that's yeah. right. I thought And she was, was lovely kind of, and couldn't have been kinder. And but she loves oh. turtles. Yeah, she does. <laughs> If you but, follow her Twitter, she is all about turtles. All about turtles. Kingsley must be put down, and I'd like to call for that. <laughs> That's the dog that bit Kyle? Kyle no, Kyle's, Kyle's, Kyle's daughter. daughter. But yeah, even yeah. before he was <laughs> Kyle 2 by Eileen's daughter, he, he had knew. Had several she, others. I, I, don't you remember there was an episode where she was like, I can't come to your party. My dog punched me in the nose. <laughs> yeah. And then the, even the trainer was like, this dog must die. <laughs> like, basically. And I love animals, so I don't want to hear it. But, some, I mean, this is how many people need yeah. to be near yeah. death. It's yeah, tough. this dog is tough stuff. He's He's been through some stuff. And, and he is not safe around children or people. Much like his owner. No, I'm <laughs> yeah. kidding. No, but I love Kim. She's I, getting help. A lot of people have controversial feelings about Kim and Kyle's relationship, which is that is Kyle kind of enjoy being the sister that has this, you know, troubled sister or or is she the long suffering person of someone who's a sister to an addict, which I sort of see her more as. I think she enjoys it. I feel like who is she without that? Wow, 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 wow. wow. I do. I feel like it started as true concern and then she became addicted to the worry and addicted to the attention it came on She's her. the addict. I feel like, yes, eyes. thank you. Wow. 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 I do feel like, I feel like there's never an episode where she's not crying about Kim and, and I felt like she sat Mauricio down just to be like, hey, let's not forget my my mono, my Kim monologue. My, <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like you will see it in monologue yeah, books for goes, teens in hey, auditions. I forgot <laughs> to tell you three days ago I had lunch with Lisa Vanderpump know, and like, we talked about, about my sister. Have you spoken to like, Mauricio? Wow. And she was in like a blousy lavender like Which, workout top. <laughs> it was like a long sleeve caftan top. Yeah, she's always in a caftan. I've never not seen her in a caftan. Such but a long pause she took in that scene. What was? <laughs> <laughs> I want. I hope there's more moments like that in her Warner Brothers scripted. I think so. But not if Kathy there Hilton has anything, anything to do with it. Do Kathy Hilton. Kathy, Matt, oh, you. <laughs> I was so sure Kathy Hilton was going to be a regular cast. There were there were hints like yeah. uh, during the hiatus that she was mm-hmm. going to be a or cast member. Or at least member. a Faye Resnick kind of popping in and out and to she demonize. Does. She does. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like she tortures Kyle. I yes. feel like she. Kyle's afraid of her. Kyle's not afraid of Kathy. Kathy's the missing piece. Yes. yes. I mean, that's my, my favorite <laughs> in this Tennessee Williams drama that goes on and on. That family is how it went from like that, like Kyle and Kim being these reality people and these like kind of forgotten TV stars were like the embarrassment mm-hmm. compared to the Hiltons and, and like the tides have turned where now like the Paris's and the Nikki's will show up more and like Kathy's thinking maybe I'll be on the show like. That's the end. <laughs> yeah. I, no, you, I, you didn't. You sort of seemed like you were going on, so I didn't want to. It's all no, making great it. sense, and I do feel like all the housewives' daughters are—they're all kind of trying to get them in there now. Yeah. you mm-hmm. mentioned that, yeah, like I, Gigi. Well, it's like Gigi and and not Enwa. Enwa, who is on? I couldn't okay. pick him out of a lineup. I was surprised we didn't have a, a visit from Mohammed Sana. Oh. <laughs> if I have to see that oh, Moroccan God. Sana, oh or my God, that there's. Is. I kind of want to go to it. I feel like on the Housewives tour, you have to to go by that. <laughs> well, that house is room. never selling. No, He's like it's a flip. He's like it's a twenty million dollar flip. Oh, it's, but yes, I, I do feel like she haunts she haunts the series, and and I don't know if we'll see her in upcoming episodes. Will she make an appearance? I'm I'm curious. I think about I that. saw Kim carrying a picnic basket and walking through kind of like a median with Yolanda and Brandy for a picnic in Beverly Hills <laughs> oh, <laughs> in yes. front of like a car dealership. Yes, and you know what? Brandy was wearing a shirt that I. And I don't quote me on this because this might not happen, but I think it was like drinking is more fun or something. And I was like, she's with an alcoholic. Why? Like, 
again, Brandy's problem. It's like maybe don't have that on your shirt. And I asked, what, did Brandy quit? And I was rebuffed. By yeah, both I don't you. think she quit. I think no. she definitely. Uh, she I quit think. to what? She literally does a podcast. Not that there's anyone with her <laughs> podcast. Wow. wow. Oh my God. Excuse me? Wow. Our correspondent and has. Also, I'm available to dagger. be a correspondent on Brandy's show if she needs me, but. <laughs> she didn't or quit. a writer for her testimony. Yeah. <laughs> well, all of it. I mean, I'm available. But uh, she, uh, she did not quit. No, 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 no. Okay. She uh, was thrown off. I'm surprised she was thrown off because she was so much drama, but maybe uh, they just got sick of yeah. her drama. I'm not really toxic. sure. Toxic. But- the, when they get toxic, I feel like Andy's like, okay, you've had enough. Wow. And Yolanda's friend, she seems nice, but just Cody almost- Simpson's mom? <laughs> so that's all I know her as. I don't she know. She seems a little too dignified. Yeah. yeah. She's no, not she, of us. No, I'm surprised that they, uh, She, you know, sometimes at the beginning of seasons, they have like these little like starter wives <laughs> kind of like where they're like, oh, maybe she'll do. And then like three episodes later, they're no, you never heard from again. Yeah. Like, like kind yeah. of a Dana Wil- Wilkie with the yes. she of the $50,000 sunglasses. Oh, <laughs> and lighting her cigarette off the um, candle on yeah. the table in and like a like, store. I'm loving life. I'm crying. <laughs> she was. <laughs> and you'll just see like their arm and you realize they've been invited to everything in the other room and are relating to them and talking to them but the cameras just even the cameramen are like she's not worth sharing this frame mm-hmm. no no mm-hmm. they'll be at the dinner party but they've that given no attention with Lizzie why was no mention made on Orange County it's like Lizzie's in every scene and I have to follow her I don't know I think that they wanted her to be a house it seems like she they, didn't bring the goods but she didn't bring the goods like she was in like three testimonials at most yeah Hmm. Sad. Mm-hmm. sad. So sad. Mm-hmm. Um, Andrea Bocelli is going to make an appearance. So it seems that Yolanda and David are at least t- together in this. But Yolanda's living in like a sad condo. Yeah. I feel like it's kind of cool that we get to know what happened now. I, I feel like it's kind of cool. <laughs> not cool, but we are luck. We, we live in a time. <laughs> we are so lucky, lucky to live in these days. To live in these times where we know what happened. So sort of Rashomon style where we know the end. <laughs> 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 but we need to know how we got there, and I wonder if this season I we're going to find out how we got the there. We slowly David we see is working. the working. David's in Seattle. David's, David's constantly yeah. in Seattle. He's got to keep working. He's not there for her, and so it'll My be. My husband had the unfortunate no. What quote? Oh, no, 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 no. He feels that David Foster sort of John Edwards Yolanda. Yes, he did. Uh, John Edwards. Uh, the presidential uh, vice presidential candidate who left his wife during cancer. Elizabeth Edwards, I read Resilience, cried all the way from Virginia to Atlanta, out the window, read her book. Um, Yeah, it just seems like, I I don't think David's like cut out for this. No. Not to be rude. Or marriage in general. Marriage number four, down the drain. So, Wow. For marriages. So he's not cut out for marriage or for any sort of adversity in marriage, is what I yeah, say. Well, I feel bad for Yolanda. Mm-hmm. Wow, this is all amazing stuff, but we are going to take a quick break. And we're back from our break, so let's dig in again. We're going to now move on to some Twitter questions because yes. some of you are watching along live with the East Coast feed. And so, we thank you for these. And we really do. Um, Matt, I'll start with you. Mm. Our first question comes from Carlos Diaz B. He says, what would you miss more, David Foster or Yolanda's old walk-in fridge? Which one would I miss yeah, more? Yeah, David Foster or the walk-in fridge. Oh. If you had to choose between the two, who you I missing? mean, you can always get another walk-in fridge. There's only one David Foster. Really? I'm going to miss him. Yeah, You are? Yeah. I bet you that small apartment that she's living in now, that sort of like business men's apartment well, her house is too big fridge. yeah her no, house right. is too big and i didn't said. see any photos of david behind no just no. of the children so again rashomon we're seeing it all we're seeing okay. it <laughs> danielle this question comes from matt dayton okay is his handle but his name is matt raggy no that does not matt raggy figure it figure it out a new name is it customary to bring your housekeeper to baseball games now hashtag Really see you. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to do a spin-off show with all of the housewives housekeepers because they are in shots. They those poor women are meant to like these women pack all the time and there's always a housekeeper in the background helping them pack. I have packed many a bag for myself. Never a housekeeper <laughs> is seen in my presence. I I feel those, like some of those packing scenes though are some of my favorites. Yeah. Just gorgeous transitions. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's every season there's like twelve packing scenes. And they're languid. They're just hanging out. They're sitting on a on a little like sofa a in the <laughs> yeah, as like a Peruvian their... woman sort of like like is like sweating oh, in the background. Yeah, sweating in the background. They're like, oh bring me 
me the three hundred dollar hat, and you're just like, this woman is working so hard to, and and here you have a hat that costs more than yeah. anything. So I feel like. Uh, I just want a spinoff show of the housekeepers, all of them. And I feel like they'd have some real chestnuts. Yep. Okay, Yolanda's divorce. Oh, this is a great question. This is from Hello, It's Matt by Matt Palmer. Mm. I'm so excited. My question, which fired housewife would you bring back? Ooh, that's a really good question. I feel like prayers were answered for me on the Atlanta front with She by Sheree. <laughs> and her house again. And her house made of dust <laughs> <laughs> with just rocks and dirt for floor she literally said i do not have a floor <laughs> so it's so tough what's going on there <laughs> yeah there's atlanta is getting it's, it's i, I love atlanta I, oh, I i i would say it might be my favorite of all wow. well no beverly hills is probably the crown yeah. jewel as i've said well sheree is my favorite housewife because of her famous famous quote when speaking to her party planner not What's the party planner not passionate? No. <laughs> a different party planner. <laughs> when um, she said, who gonna check me? Who gonna check me, boo? Oh, yeah, that... Yeah. It's a... You know, it's I the line like, of our time. Yeah, it goes down with, like, ask not what you yes, can do yes, in yes, country, church, but yeah. ask what whatever you can Whatever that one was. Whatever that yeah. bullshit was. But <laughs> who's gonna <laughs> check me, crap. boo? Who gonna check me, Who boo? gonna check me, indeed? I have thought that many a day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not said it. <laughs> not That's for her to no, say. No, no, no. Not for us. Matt, which, which fired housewife would you bring back? Ooh, it's so hard. You know, I did love the brief return of Kelly Ben Simone on this past <laughs> uh, season of New York. That was a great, unexpected. Um, She's like an emptied out purse. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean physically, mentally, yeah. emotionally, <laughs> spiritually, yeah. sexually, yeah. Yeah. financially? Like, yeah, like attractive, but like so sad and yeah. So much going on. Yeah. And nothing at the same time. Um, but I'm, I mean, I'm happy to see Adrian coming back on, on mm. Beverly Hills this season. Adrian. Adrian. Of now, Maloof, if I can quickly just say, mm -hmm. I also watched a series recently. Um, uh, it was Botched? with Alana Stewart. No, Stewart's oh. in Hamilton. Oh, yeah, that's on it's E, on the E name. Unbelievable. <laughs> yes, I have, I have like a general literacy of it. But, but Adrian I, Maloof was dating a... Uh, yes, a what's Stewart. What's name? Like, yes. Yes, a like kid, a like a 26-year-old. Like yes. uh, what's his name? He's like the... He's, it's such a yeah. So, oh, it's so much great. going on there. No, 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 no. She's she's dating a a child. She basically is dating a child, wow. which is weird. I would say that uh, the housewife that I would like to see come back is Jill Zarin. Mm, shocking that we haven't seen her yet. Wow. Well, Jill would love nothing more than that. <laughs> She's like, you've you just made her so life. So available to be a correspondent it. on this show. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, very quickly, we'll end the show with mm -hmm. just a little segment we like to call Turnt. Turnt. Ugh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is when we've... No, yeah, we we're not, not possibly using this right. Yeah, I think the kids use it to say, like, she's turned up. Like, she's gone crazy. But we're using it as, like, we've turned on someone. We, yeah. We've turned. Danielle, would you like to start? Who have you turned on? I've, I have a controversial person that I've turned on because everybody loves her. I love her, but I've turned on her, which is Candy Barres from Atlanta. Wow. One of my fantasy everybody housewives. Everybody loves her. and But I feel like she has not been a good friend to Phaedra. Phaedra is going through a tough spot with her <laughs> criminal husband who was a criminal before and yes, he, <laughs> he crimed again. <laughs> he crimed <Yeah>. again. <laughs> so I'm trying to make yeah. you know, it yeah. better than it is. Yeah. But, but I You mean like by housing Apollo's stuff in the garage? By housing Apollo's stuff in the <laughs> garage. By housing his own motorcycles, which I have heard now that the government was watching mm. Housewives Everyone's of Atlanta. A fan. Everyone's a fan. That government officers were standing by watching Housewives <laughs> of Atlanta. I, hope the, I can only hope the government's on. listening to this. <laughs> Saw it that, that his motorcycles were at Candy and Todd's, one of their two houses next to each other. <laughs> and, and or were they confiscated Candy's mother's them, house around the corner? And confiscated them and said, no, I don't think so. So, but I, I think it was a little wrong. So I, I've kind of turned on on mm. Candy and mm. interesting Matthew. What have you turned on? Anyone? I was gonna say Kristen slash Heather Thompson from New York, but that's too wow. easy. Honestly, it's I'd too love easy to hear your thoughts. Um, I, I, but I, it's, I, I was never on them enough to be turned away from them. Now, I will say mine's controversial too. It's probably Yolanda. <gasps> I literally gasped and put my hands like the Home Alone pose. Right now. 
I mean, I wish her well, but it, <laughs> it has. You have really taken a bold stance, and you were going to get some hate. What, what is your Twitter handle? Do you want to give everybody it now? It's, or? Uh, it's my name. If you can figure it out, I mean, it's neither here nor there. But um, why ever? I think that I mean her. Her she her her humble bragging is so relentless, and I would rather I, I like it when they they like have fun with their wealth and they you know and mm-hmm. show it off and stuff. But it's just like it's nonstop with her and it. In, in a when her thing like she's just such a saint she's such a martyr again her health I wish her the best but I think she's kind of full of shit <laughs> oh wow, wow. Casey okay. um Heather Debro. <gasps> I had such a bad reaction to Heather last season, and I, as a fellow actress, and I was you also on, on, hot, on, hot uh, Cleveland? on Hot in Cleveland. It's a controversy. No, <laughs> but I, I actually really related to her in the beginning. I was like, she's actually a talented actress, mm-hmm. and she's doing this show, and she seems like a great mom. So all those things are great, but her just she's so out of touch with America it makes me disgusted and I don't know why I would expect any of them to be in touch but when she threw a groundbreaking party for her mansion and had people (laughs) write notes in a time capsule (laughs) her and her leather jacket wearing husband so much leather and she's got so much anger at Terry it's like not my fault you gotta fuck Terry yeah that's on you sweetie I think she's truly attracted to Terry can I say that Wow, don't I don't think, think so? she is. I don't think she is. I think she's like, I did pretty well, despite that I didn't go for looks. I did great. I got, and I just like, I don't want to hear you complaining about making your house. Like, I just think she's she's crossed over the line of like fun complaining, and to me, she just comes off so badly. No, she does. I I don't think she's necessarily the most likable and she just loves the way she's got everything pulled together but I want to say like yeah you had someone style that like luggage system you have and someone's putting all your shit in those little baggies when she she talks about like going $150,000 over with tile that's when I think you say all right, Heather time to take a Mm. good look in the mirror she just has no (laughs) self um no awareness yeah I couldn't come up with that one (laughs) no no she had bangs for five minutes and those disappeared real quick yeah. Don't you remember? She, like she cut bangs for a reunion show. That is a bold move for a reunion to. She literally cut bangs at the reunion. Don't you remember? Like the before footage. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys. Wow. If we could just end with just going around very quickly, and I hope you'll be doing this at home if you're listening or Please. in your car, wherever you are, and or just maybe tweet at us and let us know. And let us know. Who do you think is the hottest house husband? I think we could all say it in unison, right? I mean. It's Maurizio. Well, of course, I but mean, that's obvious. I'm gonna say David Foster. Come <laughs> on, and I've always Danielle. thought he was handsome, and now I sort of feel like I have a chance. Cynthia <laughs> Peter. <gasps> No, Papa Smurf? <laughs> Casey! I, am, I think Apollo's He's a cute. bad man. Apollo? Guys, a I... criminal and a bad man. You have a bad boy thing. <laughs> guys, I don't know what to tell anyone, okay? No, Apollo does make beautiful babies. Beautiful yeah, babies. Yeah, I'm so upset that you're saying David Foster. He's a good looking guy. He didn't get married four times for no reason because he's mm. ugly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll have another, and it might be me. Yeah, good luck to you, Danielle. <laughs> thank you. Guys, this Fingers has been crossed. a dream. Matt McConkey, yes. thank, oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> oh my god Lisa <laughs> we'll discuss Harry's swastika yes. Halloween oh. costume later yeah and so much to discuss next week because nothing happens so let, maybe something will happen next week on the show that'll like some drama some real drama please tune in if you enjoy the show tell your like minded gorgeous friends all beautiful all of you thank you bye bye <laughs> This has been an Earwolf production, executive produced by Scott Ackerman, Adam Sachs, and Chris Bannon. For more information and content, visit Earwolf.com. Earwolf.